Safety is not an option. Well, at least at Mercedes-Benz vans it isn't. My name is Jason Plato, and during this film, I'm going to surprise, shock, and entertain you with a fantastic safety technology called ESP. Mercedes-Benz believe that optimum safety should be compulsory and not an extra, which is why you won't pay a penny more for the advanced electronic stability program across their Vito and Sprinter range. So, what is ESP and how does it work? Well, in simple terms, it's an active safety system that sits in the background and constantly monitors your van's handling, reacting automatically to any situation that would cause it to skid. It stabilises the van by applying just the right amount of braking to each individual wheel and reducing engine power. ESP gives you more traction, more stability, and more effective braking. In a nutshell, ESP gives you more control. Now it's time for me to experience ESP for myself. So, let's paint a scenario. You're on the way home in the van after a hard day, You've just changed the radio, something on your right-hand side catches your eye, and then all of a sudden... <laughs> so, what did the system do? Well, your natural reaction when faced with a child running out or a dog or something like that, the first reaction is to steer away. You're then going to get on the brakes, but before all that happens, the system will detect a skid or the fan going out of control, and it will jump on the brakes for you independently on each wheel if needed. It'll also cut the power. To illustrate, ESP switched on, third gear, I don't know, 40 mile an hour. I'm not going to touch the brakes and I'm not going to lift off. I'm going to put the van into a skid. So, see what happens. Brakes jumped on. First of all, the front right brake came on. Then it detected we were going to, we were in a skid to the left. Then it put the left front and then the left rear on, all independently, without me touching the brake. So that happens at a split second, faster than I can react. Fantastic system. And it works. I met with David Fulker to give me some more details. So, David, 13 years ago, Mercedes-Benz and Bosch developed ESP. Yeah. Why aren't all vans fitted with this as standard? I know that Mercedes, across the whole van range, yeah. It isn't an option, it's a standard feature. Standard feature, yes. I think it's, um, it's, it's technology that's evolved. Stability control technology, um, that has been developed over the last 13 years, and more and more manufacturers are looking to fit it as standard. Mercedes made it standard, but also I think it needs to be demanded by the customers. Yeah. Two years ago, the Department of Transport decided to investigate, and what they concluded was that if the technology had been fitted to the type of accidents they research, 25% of accidents would have been reduced, and 380 lives would have been saved, and 7,800 injuries would also have been avoided. So hence the campaign which you see at the moment, Choose ESP, is what the Department of Transport is running. Let's demonstrate the results. In scenario one, the ESP is switched on. In scenario two, ESP has been switched off. So, at the same speeds with ESP on, the Vito keeps a much more controlled and tighter line through the cones. And as you can see from this 3D simulation, depending on the load, a van's centre of gravity can shift significantly. Load adaptive ESP counters the forces of your load to ensure greater stability, significantly reducing the chances of rollover. This whole process happens in the blink of an eye. The ESP system will cut the power, apply the brakes independently, and initiate the ABS system without any driver input. Sales and marketing talk. Well, it's all well and good. But let's hear the reaction from the people who really matter. You, the customer, after they've experienced ESP firsthand. <laughs> So, ESP, mm -hmm. 
What does that mean to you? Electronic Stability Programme. Right, ESP. ESP. What's it all about? It's a safety system, braking system on the vehicle. I mean, you don't even have to touch the brakes. In the event that uh, a child... A kid jumps out in front of you. Make an immediate reaction. Your natural instinct is like swerve away. The vehicle goes to the left or the right. What this system does, it applies the brakes. And it takes over and... It allows you to swerve away safely. Let's go and see if it does exactly that. <laughs> yeah, right. We'll speak to you in a minute. <laughs> Mercedes-Benz vans and Bosch took over a test track for two weeks to give more than a 1,000 customers the full ESP experience. The vans were specially prepared so that professional drivers could turn the ESP system on and off. So, it does a good job then? It, it does job? a very good job, yeah. yeah. Good. Even on the skid pan, that was brilliant, that. And we were trying to get it off the skid pan, but we couldn't, because it just cut the power, applied the brakes. Yeah, it's an amazing difference from with it on, with it off, yeah. total control. Have you just come out of the, uh, the Sprinter? Yes. What do you think, ESP? Fantastic. I can't believe the way you can just throw the vehicle into that position. Yeah. Incredible. Amazing, isn't it? It is, yeah. And it just holds the road. Yeah, you can really feel what, what it was doing you know, when you're going through the corner. Yeah, really good. And in today's world, ESP important? Definitely. Yeah, most definitely. Yeah, I mean, my drivers, they've, they've come back and tell me many a time that they're coming off a motorway, misjudged of traffic that stopped around the corner or something. Have to use it. Perfect. Yeah, yeah it's a must have, I think. So, we know the safety is there. It's fantastic for safety, fantastic for accident avoidance. Yeah. But what other benefits are there to, say, fleet bikes? Because sure, surely yeah. it's going to make an impact on depreciation. Yeah. And... yeah, yeah. But what we try to do, we, you, you must remember with the fleet manager, they're looking at safety, but also looking at um, cost of ownership. Mm -hmm. And in terms of ESP, the contribution it can make is basically to ac accident management costs. Right. Accident management costs account for 13%. You can hear behind me the tyres going, they, they account for another 4 or 5%. Yeah. But also the residual value. Right. You know, it's, it might be that in three or four years, ESP is legally standard. Right. You can imagine, you know, selling a used vehicle without ESP then. So ESP can not only help with the safety, but also help with the, the cost of ownership for a fleet manager. At Mercedes-Benz, safety has always been a top priority, and ESP is a huge leap forward in technology. As this film has demonstrated, ESP really does make your vehicle safer, but in doing so, it gives you so much more. More residual value, more protection against future government legislation, more duty of care for employees, and less running costs. I believe ESP is a vital safety system, especially for vans with their unusual loads and higher centre of gravity. The pace of life puts massive demand on people and businesses. ESP has no emotion, it never gets tired and works 24-7. It's a no-brainer. <laughs>